Hello and welcome to Power BI Zone. Today we see the difference between append and merge queries in Power BI. Now what is the main difference between append and merge queries? I've tried to uh, explain this diagrammatically. So the append is nothing but similar to the SQL or the T-SQL command called union where you are having one table on top of the other table. The first table has the sales for the year 2021. The second table has the year 2022 sales. Now you are going to combine the 2021 sales and 2022 sales on top of each other. Remember generally during append or union what happens is the number of column remains same and the type of the column also remains same. So we are having country sales and year in both the tables. However in case of merge try to uh, visualize this where two tables are there and you need the code information from the second table to be merged or joined in your first table as an extra column. So merge operation actually increases the number of columns. Right? Having said that let's quickly go to Power BI Desktop. And so I'll go to Power BI Desktop. I'll click on import data from Excel and I will import the Excel SX file that I am having. Now the file has four sheets which contains four tables but I only need the sales for 2022, the sales for 2021 and the country codes. I will click on transform data which will bring me to the Power Query editor. Now let us see how the data is over here as I told you earlier country sales and year the sales is present only for 2022 the other table sales is present only for 2021 the requirement I need the sales for both 2021 and 2022 on top of each other Let's zoom in okay so for that what you can do is you can come to this particular section okay it's called home home tab and there's this option uh, let me just zoom out a bit this append queries this one right and you can use this append queries to go ahead and append the sales for 2021 as well as for 2022 so I'll click on append queries and there will be two options one is append queries the other is append queries as new what is the difference between both these options right so append queries as new this particular guy over here it creates a new table it creates a third table which appends the uh, 2021 sales and 2022 sales as a new table altogether however append queries the top guy over here it does not create a third table so if you select 2022 only what it will do it will combine both the sales of 2021 and 2022 into 2022 without creating a third table this is an important point please remember this so for the sake of simplicity what we will do is we will just go to append queries and we will say append queries as new which brings us into this particular uh, you know dialog box it says either you have two tables or you have three tables right in my case I'll be only having two tables so I will select the first table which is sales for 2022 I will select the second table which is the sales for 2021 and I will click on OK it will simply load both the sales for 2022 on top of 2021 that is exactly what the append query does now we can go ahead and rename the append query over here as combined sales right second important point is remember when I, this entire exercise was starting there was an option of load and transform data so I went to transform data which is why I did not want to uh, you know uh, load more data or more tables into my PBIX file into in RAM memory so what I can do is I do not want to load these two tables right because already I am having this combined sales which is combining both these two tables so what I can do is right click on the first table and disable the enable load option so just disable we have understood what is an append query let's quickly go ahead and try to understand what is a merge query 
to use the merge query option let me just zoom in the screen and you have to go to the home tab and under the home tab there will be an option of merge queries over here right so you can go ahead and select the merge queries and again merge queries will give you two options we want to go ahead and do merge queries as new because we want to create an extra table by merging these two tables that I am having. So the first table I want to choose is the sales for 2021 right and the second table that I want to choose is the country code. Let me zoom the screen. Why am I doing this? That's because I need this code column from my second table to come and appear in my first table. So let's go ahead and see what are the options that Power BI will give me. So first to do that you have to have a common column across both the tables. In my case that particular column is country. So one present in the second table? Yes, France is present in the second table with the code as FR. Is India present in the second table? No, India is not present in the second table. Since India is not present in the second table hence it is telling you the selection matches two out of three so now I can go ahead and choose the kind of join that I need by default obviously I'll be going with the left outer join which means all from my first table over here this is my first driving table now there are other options also which you can choose over here right so I'll just zoom in a bit the options that you can choose is left outer right outer full outer and inner which is similar to the SQL ones now at the bottom you see there are two new options left anti and right anti which means left anti means rows only in the first table not present in the second and right anti means rows only in the second table not present in the first so depending on your requirement you can go ahead and select any one of these options which tells you what kind of join you need so in my case I am okay with a left join I'll do okay once I do OK, a new query called merge appears in the queries. Now if you see, the country codes has appeared as a table in each of the row. Right? Im important, right? So this is not a simple row. It has entirely exported the table itself, the second table, which is country codes. See, this, is the, this was the name of my table, the country codes. Now how we will see the value of this is you have to click the first row. Once you click the first row you will be seeing country and code the values for the USA. So for France the code that I am getting from my second table is FR. But for India there is no code at all. If, now if I need to expand this I will select on this option. So let me just zoom in. There is an option and over here right over here this option I'll be choosing and it will now ask me what are the columns that I need to expand so I only need the code right this particular column from the second table so I will select OK and it will now give me the rows from the second table not a table the top table option is gone so USA has got two rows France has got one and India has got a row but for the second table the value is null if you see here you see if you expand this it clearly tells you from which table it is coming which is the name of the table country code and what is the name of the column it is code so I can go ahead and change this to only country codes that's it now so I hope it is clear for you, the concept is clear for you. You can go ahead to my uh, blog powerbizone.com and see the article difference between append and merge queries in Power BI. So if you are liking my videos guys, uh, I'll request you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you so much for your time. Bye-bye.